found Phil Cornelius. How you doing today, sir? Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Excellent, thank you. This is an absolutely stunning coach we're looking at here. What's going on, sir? Well, this is a 2022 show coach. Uh, it was originally designed to be a show coach, but uh, we've all already got a buyer for it. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. I hear you guys have a little bit of a backlog here on your new coaches at Newell. What's your current situation? Well, uh, we are about uh, 18 months out now. Uh, if you were to order a coach today, uh, you'd be about 18 months out. We have a, two or three spots uh, in there that you could probably grab uh, in the next uh, year, three months or so but uh, basically 18 months out. What's causing uh, this backlog? Well, there, there's a number of things that, that I think contribute to it. Uh, people are becoming more familiar with the Newell. Uh, for the last, uh, I'd say 10 or 12 years, Newell has not been uh, a company that uh, toots its own horn, so to speak, uh, as much as we probably could or could have. But with the uh, uh, advent of, of YouTube videos and uh, people like yourself that are able to, to help us get the word out. What we've been able to do uh, with these videos is, is help the consumer have a better understanding of our product and the uh, features and benefits that it offers as compared to, the, say, the conversion industry or the Class A market. Uh, so we've, uh, we've, we've benefited from that. A lot of times uh, in, in the sales profession, we spend more time straightening out misinformation about our product that uh, we don't even know exists. Uh, our competitors are all too uh, willing to uh, put information out there that may not be uh, completely accurate. So these videos have allowed us to uh, allow customers to again see uh, the, the coach for what it is. What really closes the deal for us is when the customer actually comes and takes a look at uh, not just the final product, but how we build the product as compared to uh, other products in the industry. Yeah, and this is, uh, this coach, this, this paint job, as you're talking, my eye keeps drawn to this paint job here. Your paint schemes have been really just going over the top lately. What's, uh, what's going on on your paint department? We've been able to incorporate um, some really cool designs uh, by Ryan Laux, who has just done a fantastic job with us. He uh, uh, he's he's well known in the industry as well, and uh, he's an ex he's working exclusively for us uh, now, and it's uh, been a great relationship. And um, our guys are just more than eager to uh, be challenged by what he uh, designs, and they've done a fantastic job of delivering on that. Yeah, well, I'm I'm really looking forward to, to looking more in depth at this coach. Now, earlier in the day, you were talking a little bit about you know the Cummins engine. You want to show us the engine bay in this yeah, coach? Yeah, you know, and... I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, one of the things that uh, is very important for well, with any product is is access, access to the engine. And if you take a look at, uh, let me go ahead and open this bay for us. Can you take a look at the amount of of space that's still available? Uh, to access the engine, to uh, do routine maintenance on the engine. It, it's quite a, quite a difference from what you're going to see uh, maybe in the bus conversion industry or the Class A industry where the engine has not got a lot of room around it. Um, again, we build from the ground up, so we're able to design the coach so that it's easily serviced as well. Uh, you've got good access here and also from the side over here. We have installed in this one the pressure washer, uh, and that pressure washer also connects to a DI water system as well. Um, but the access to the chassis batteries, uh, if we needed to get into the, uh, the side of the engine, we'd be able to remove this reel and, and easily get inside of it. In the back, we do have the uh, air supply that goes all the way around uh, the coach, uh, front to back. And then we have a, a multiplier on the uh, on the system so that we can double the air pressure uh, to really be able to air the tires up well. Yeah. Now you were telling me earlier today that you know Cummins has uh, a pretty incredible network set up. Now obviously folks can get their coaches serviced here in Miami, Oklahoma. But what type of a network do you have set up if folks need service on their Cummins engine uh, when they're you know down the road? Well, that, that's a that's a good point. Uh, Cummins, for decades, has pursued the, the motorhome industry. And I can remember, I've been doing this for over 30 some odd years, and um, Cummins was 
was aggressively pursuing the motorhome industry as um, early as the, the late 80s, and they did a fantastic job. Uh, obviously, they, they kind of own the market now. And part of that, uh, part of the reason for that is the service and support uh, that they provide. Um, you can look on their website, uh, and they've uh, got like 3,700 locations uh, as compared to, you know, the bus conversions have like 430 locations in, in North America. But there's another thing that, uh, that Cummins has done uh, because they kind of own this motorhome industry. They have uh, what they call uh, coach care facilities. Uh, also on their website, you can see they've got like 170 uh, of those locations around the country. And they do more than just engine work. They'll do generator work. And, uh, but they're, they're basically uh, appealing to the motorhome owner. You don't just pull into any truck facility if you have a motorhome. You don't want a guy that's covered in grease getting in your motorhome. You want to go to a place where they understand that this is a different market than the truck drivers or the bus drivers. Uh, this is a, a market where you know, people are proud of their product and they want to keep it clean and they want to uh, receive a different level of support uh, than what you'd normally receive. That definitely makes a lot of sense and I, I can understand why Cummins is the leader uh, definitely, I see more Cummins than any other engine in the industry. Well, and, and, and the, the size of the engine and the performance of the engine is a, is a big deal, too. Yeah, uh, what's the horsepower and torque on this engine? Uh, this is a 605 horsepower uh, engine, and then it's got 1,950 pounds of torque as compared to uh, the engine used in the, the bus conversions that are uh, like 500 horsepower and uh, I think 1,750 pounds of torque. Uh, we've talked about this before. Uh, our our owners, uh, our guys have egos, and uh, they'd like to be able to to move down the road faster. And they sure don't want to be passed up by their buddies uh, <laughs> that uh, that have the bigger engines. But uh, you know that it's a it's a good it's a good product, uh, good service, good support. It's it's the whole package that uh, that makes the Cummins a far more attractive option. Yes, sir. Well, let's take a little bit more of an in in depth look at this. Uh... 22 bunk model what uh what's the coach number on this coach uh this is coach number 1729 yeah well i'm really excited about it let's look at this uh this paint scheme a little bit closer yeah. so now did newell coach design this paint scheme or uh no uh this was this was ryan laux that that designed it in fact uh you can see it was uh custom series number five yeah so this is custom series number five i know this you know was a show coach position uh, I know Ryan was the, the graphic designer, but did the customer influence that design or was this all, all by new? No, when, whenever we sell a show coach, uh, again, they have to let us do the design work because, because we're going we're gonna to show it in a, maybe a particular area and we have a, an idea of what we want to showcase. Um, this, this being a bunk bed model, um, that kind of narrows the market a little bit for who's going to buy it. Uh, but we 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 chose the uh, interior next year, and we provide that uh, we provide the samples to the customer before they purchase it. That hey, this is what the coach is going to look like. Uh, these are the materials that are going to be used, and then they sign off on it if that's the if that's acceptable to them. Yeah, well, the, you guys did a great job at designing this, and I just want to point out a couple things that I'm seeing in the background here as I as I look at this coach that you know there's just these little fine details like this white pinstripe right here that you don't necessarily see it but it really breaks up the design and then when you look at the edge of these big blue stripes too you've got those white pins and then this uh you know this pattern that that you use and then there's some some fades on it got like some real subtle details uh, like if you follow this pattern right here it's almost a pewter color but then if you just continue to, to, to follow it, it, it change in, changes into a different shade. Kind of a champagne color. Yeah, almost a champagne. And then when you look back here, back to that pewter color with that white pinstripe, and then it's got that drop shadow right there, which there's all these little small effects in the paint that you don't necessarily see. And you know, that same, like I was talking about that fade, we're going from a black right here, but then if you follow the black, it just slowly fades into that champagne color. And then it's got that drop shadow right there. And it's just, just incredible at how it all comes together. And, and when you see it from 10 or 15 feet away, as opposed to, uh, you know, five feet away, you just notice all these different stuff. And then, you know, like this white pinstripe 
starts here and then it s splits out and then you've got that second pinstripe starting and splitting out and then it goes all the way to the top but just giving it a really cool look and I'm just really impressed with with the design work uh, your paint department and, and teaming up with Ryan Lauchs they're just knocking it out of the park yeah and if you'll notice also we're um, it, it costs a little more to do this uh, quite a bit more but uh, the patio awnings are on the very top and we we've, we've done a good job with the new body style that came out back in 2018 we're able to make those uh, awning boxes kind of disappear yeah and we're able to bring the paint up into those to where it really looks like it's just part of the part of the coach rather than a separate awning. yeah box. yeah no I totally understand and there's even fades going on way up there in the paint that I can't get much of a close-up up because it's 13 feet up in the air but uh yeah i definitely understand what you're saying you really it's hard to tell where you know where the awnings start and stop and and uh really makes those awnings uh look like a part of the coach with that pattern uh you know going through the awnings very impressive yeah, and, you, and, and you as you mentioned the further away you get from the coach we're, we're pretty close right now but the drop shadows really do their job whenever you get further away and there, there's, there's several places in here that uh, it just kind of makes the graphic look like it's lifting off the coach. Um, and then this, uh, there, there's a lot of stenciling that goes on as well uh, when, they, uh, when they do some of these uh, paint schemes that Ryan has, has developed for us. Yeah, well, they're, they're doing a great job. Well, why don't we look through the basement base in this coach here? I'm looking forward to seeing what, what's going on here. This, uh, this coach also is, uh, is finishing up production. Uh, the, the owner is going to take delivery uh, here in a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be all done. It's still in the detail phase uh, right now. Yeah. But uh, this, uh, this has got our, our slide-out trays, as uh, we've seen before. With that remote, we've talked about that in the past. Yeah, you, put it, you can put it anywhere. Some people like to put it inside. Some people like to put it on the side of the bay. Uh, you, can, you can stick it anywhere. And if, if you lose it or the batteries go dead, uh, you, you've always got the manual switch that'll allow you to, to pull it in and out. I really think, you know, Newell Coach has storage figured out here. You've got, you know, plenty of room. And then these bays have a little lip here. Uh, so, so your stuff is gonna stay in place there and you can only stack your stuff so high, so I think this is really the perfect height. Yeah, Andrew, the, the amount of space is uh, very important for, for storage, and we've got two full pass-through bays. Um, you'll notice that we don't have any of the uh, gussets that you'll find in the Buskin versions uh, that, that interfere with the amount of storage that you can get. Uh, those are usually designed, or those are designed uh, because the, the the bus shell is not strong enough to support the slide on its own. We, we build it from the ground up to be able to support it. So we don't have those, those gussets on the, uh, the backside that are uh, gonna interfere with your storage. The other thing is um, you don't need, most of the time you don't need all of that height. I've seen situations where uh, people don't use all the storage they have in some of these taller storage bays because uh, they've got to stack things on top of it, and when they do that, they end up kind of playing a game of Jenga where they're, you know, pulling stuff out and things are falling over. You know, most people are going to use about this much storage uh, to stack whatever they need to stack. Bins are usually about that tall that they put in uh, the storage as well. So uh, storage has not really been a, an issue with us. The other thing about this, uh, this uh, bay that we have, we do have these boxes, but if you want to create a little bit more storage, these boxes come off completely. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they, they come off and you can, you can get yourself a little bit more width if you need it. Uh, a little more height? Just a, a, a slight, uh, a bit more height. Uh, you don't have to have the box in there, uh, so. But I think that box really helps keep all of your stuff in right, place. And right, yeah. you've really if, engineered if, if, it for the user. If you've got a lot of small items in particular that are up against the edge, you, you want to you wanna have the lip. But if you've got mainly large items and you want to get a little more width, another couple of inches, then you can do that as well. 
Okay, so the first uh, the first two bays here are gonna be all storage and then we're going into this third bay and I see the N1 system here. Uh, we've uh, talked about that in some other videos with James yeah. from Engineering. This is really exciting, uh, the technology. And I'll make sure to leave the video in the description below where James and the engineering team explain how the N1 system works. Right, One of the, a couple of features real quick uh, uh, compared to what we were using before. Uh, we're still using spider uh, systems or spider controls and they uh, they've been a fantastic vendor for us for years for uh, decades in fact and uh, the uh, fuse panel that was traditionally down here uh, has been replaced with with a system that uh, is going to allow us to have resettable fuses uh, remotely inside or out here at the, at the electronics bay or electrical bay yeah and then the nice thing about this too is you could take that bay out and slide in and out. We have demonstrated that in previous videos. Oh yeah, yeah. There's plenty, of, plenty of room there. Uh, as I said, even for our uh, big boys here in Oklahoma. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, bay four is going to be our entertainment bay. Uh, uh, with you've got the uh, entertainment bay. We've got the ability to just uh, bring the the TV out to whatever angle that you want. Uh, you have a sound bar up above the TV and. Uh, Got the, the dust cover for the TV here. Okay. And then behind that TV houses the Aqua Hot 675 here. And I love how Newell finishes everything off with these compartment bays, but very easy to access. You can see how much room is around this bay here so that you can get to everything. Yeah, they're, uh, like I said, they're still doing some things on this coach, but we also have the macerator on this side. Uh, most people use the gravity fill because we have a single tank. Uh, we're not separating it out, so uh, the gravity fill works great. But we do have a macerator uh, option as well if uh, you decide you want to pump the uh, contents of the waste tank uh, somewhere else. Yes, sir. And then uh, going into the fuel bay here, I love this feature. Newell Coach has the camera right here. We've demonstrated this in a lot of videos, how you can align your diesel fuel tank uh, with the fuel pump when pulling up to fuel stations. Right, you know, we've got uh, easy access. One of, the, one of the things that we've, we've done, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of products have the uh, fuel fill on the outside of the coach, and uh, typically that's going to have to be a, a plastic or a, a composite uh, piece that, that's uh, inserted into the side of the coach. We prefer to clean it up and uh, not have any of that showing on the outside of the coach. Also, it prevents, uh, you know, if you did have somebody that wanted to try to siphon off your fuel, if your bay door's locked, they can't get to the, the fuel fill. Yes, sir. And then, uh, you know, I don't point it out enough, but one thing I like that Newell Coach does is these wheels are chromed, actually. So a lot of the other wheels in the market are gonna be either a Durabrite or an aluminum. The aluminum have to be polished over and over. These chrome wheels are the easiest to maintain and clean, and then they give you the highest shine and the highest luster. I don't know anyone else doing that in the industry, but I think that's a great idea. Yeah, we, we offer the, the chrome wheels as an option, and, uh, and most people are choosing it. Um, you know a little bit about detailing chrome wheels, don't you? <laughs> One or two things, yes sir. And <laughs> chrome wheels are gonna make the detailer's life a lot easier. And they just always look a lot better with that high luster and uh, almost every, I didn't realize it was an option because almost everybody chooses it yeah, for, for yeah. the most part. Yeah, for the most part, uh, that's what we'll see. Uh, you can see it, I don't know if you can see it in here, but yeah. uh, we've talked about the uh, suspension system. Uh, ZF is a partner of ours. Uh, we've got these uh, hydraulic dampers. Uh, part of the continuous damping control. Uh, that's an exclusive with Newell. Um, nobody else in the industry has it. Uh, we've got a new feature uh, that maybe I'll talk to you about it inside, but uh, it's called Smart Drive. Yes, sir. Where um, we're going to, at, at uh, about 50 miles an hour, we're going to lower the center of gravity by softening up the airbags. And when, when you have that in combination with the continuous damping control, you've got something that's really unbeatable. Uh, the continuous damping control uh, outperforms the, the normal systems that you see on Class A's and bus conversions uh, by itself, but this new smart drive is really going to enhance the, the ride for the, uh, the end user. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did have a chance to test drive a Newell with the new Smart Drive yesterday, too. It's an incredible system. Oh, no. As we're walking around here, I've noticed you've got a 50 amp plug hooked up, but then there's also an air hose hooked up to the coach. What's going on here, sir? Right. That's, uh, if you'll notice where it says shop air in. Yes, sir. Um, what that what that allows us to do, like I said, we're still working on this. We're performing some tests, uh, look, making sure we don't have any air leaks or anything like that on the coach. And this allows us to pressurize the system without having the engine running. So uh, if it's uh, whether it's us doing it or if you're at a facility somewhere and they want to have the air system aired up without having to run the engine, then we can do it. We also have two auxiliary air compressors as well uh, that we. Uh, have on board uh, it only uses one at a time but we have a, a spare and i'll show you that when we get up to the front as well yeah and then as far as i know too inside of the coach uh when you have that set up there is another air outlet where you can hook up an air hose inside of the coach so that technicians don't have to drag dirty air hoses right. through the coach right yeah that, it depends on the floor plan where it's located uh, we also have uh, releases throughout the coach where you can take the air pressure off of the system uh, for an emergency if you needed to open a door or something that if there was a problem but normally don't have a problem but but we want to have those safety measures in place uh, just in case yeah there's all kinds of redundancy built into yeah. this coach uh, and then if you ever do have a problem too you guys have the 24 7 customer care hotline you want to let everyone know a little bit about that uh, yeah absolutely the uh, you have a 800 number that you can call anytime um, regardless of the age of your coach um, you can uh, give give us a call uh, you'll be uh, connected to an actual technician that works for newell um, once uh, they determine what your coach number is what your uh, issue is you'll be uh, put with a technician that's going to be able to help you uh, walk, walk, you walk, walk you through it and if and if you need additional support if it, it's going to require something from a um, say a, a service center somewhere we'll get that taken care of for you as well. What's going on here? I see a few different switches here. It looks like maybe a buddy plug or what's going well, on here? The actual buddy plug is in here and it's a 50 amp uh, supply so that if you, let's say you've got a, a trailer that, that you need to power, uh, you can use the, the 50 amp uh, buddy plug here or somebody else's coach. Uh, if for some reason you're parked in a remote location and you've got somebody that wants to borrow some of your power, uh, you can do that as well. Yeah, yeah. with that, that 20 kW generator, there's oh, plenty yeah. of power for that. So. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then we've got uh, some useful uh, tools here. We've got a, a battery disconnect. So uh, whenever you, uh, if you, if you need to disconnect the, the 12 volt battery system, you can do that. Just hit that button and it'll, it'll disconnect the power. But uh, something that's really been useful since we developed the new body style is we have the generator on off switch back here. Yeah. So that you can turn the generator on um, before you unplug. It's a generator priority. And also we use a mechanical switch. It's simple, that's the way it needs to be because you're dealing with a lot of uh, amperage. You don't want to overcomplicate something that needs to be kept simple. Yes, sir. And, uh, so we, we use a mechanical switch. Um, and then what's this other uh, switch here? It looks like yeah, a, that's actually the uh, so that you can charge the chassis batteries uh, whenever you're plugged in somewhere for a long period of time. Instead of having to hook up a battery charger, we've yeah. already got one on board. And all you have to do is plug in your 110 volt here uh, to your post, and then you're good to go uh, for keeping the batteries charged up. So okay, going to store cool. them for a while. And there's the other side of that diesel fuel bay and again um you know the bay door is open but it has that camera that we talked about as well then your def uh reservoir as well right the D, the def uh, reservoir is right beside the fuel rather than being located at some other location it's right beside the fuel and uh you got 200 gallons of diesel fuel 15 gallons of def and then what that'll do is give you about two to two and a half fills of fuel for every uh filling of the def Awesome. Yeah, we've, uh, we, I think we've, we've looked at this uh, plumbing bay before. Lots of space in here to access the, the plumbing. Um, I, I noticed that when, do, when you have a, a platform that you're having to build the coach around the platform rather than building it from the ground up, uh, a lot of times uh, in the plumbing area, everything's so tight 
you can't get to it. But here, uh, you can see how much space we've got even above the, the water and waste tanks. Uh, all of the uh, connections are uh, easily accessible. We've got the manifold system, and you'll notice if you come over here on the back side of that manifold system, that's a braided stainless steel yes, sir. Uh, line that's coming right off of the, the manifold and then going into uh, the plumbing uh, just behind it. Yeah, and I love how the team here at Newell finishes out uh, this plumbing bay uh, with all the you know polished stainless. You've got a, a faucet right there to wash your hands. And then we've talked about that sewer hose that's built in before. Right. With the yeah, and it's got the uh, it's got the knife out. For example, and you can see there's some water in yeah, there right all, now. It's, it's all clear water, uh, but it's not leaking. It's gonna you're, you're not gonna have to worry about the residual coming out of it there. Like I said, they're still testing uh, a few things on the system, so yes, on the sir. coach. So uh, the other thing that we, we offer as an option, and I, we may have started making this standard, but um, I'd have to take a look. We have the, uh, the um, gray water bypass. So that, let's say you're parked somewhere where you've got the ability to let you know gray water drain. Yes, sir. Uh, onto the ground, uh, if you're out in a field somewhere. Uh, you can uh, turn on this bypass and be able to just let it drain out of the shower or the, the sink water. And how big is the, the I know the, the, the black and gray tank are, are one, uh, as we've talked about before, how big is that uh, waste tank? Uh, it's 142 gallons, uh, the same as the fresh water. So you've got the same amount of uh, capacity in the fresh water and the waste water. We offer 180 gallon option, but you would give up some storage if you did that. Again, the, the 110 volt uh, water pump, but then a 12 volt backup. We've also got a heater in the bay as well uh, for uh, cold weather. Yeah, we've uh, we've talked about this in a couple of the other videos, but um, it's, it's an important feature. Uh, the cooling system that you'll find on uh, a lot of the generators out there, uh, they're, they're smaller generators, first of all, but uh, some of them even the larger generators just have a, a small radiator and a fan uh, uh, built into the generator. It's typically not enough to handle some extreme temperatures uh, as far as uh, the heat. What we do is put a separate cooling system for the generator uh, back here. So you see the, the big radiator and then the big cooling fan that uh, is gonna give you a higher ambient temperature uh, rating. Yes, what sir. you'd find if you just had the small. Newell Coach definitely, you know, overbuilds everything to make it real industrial and then perfect spot to house those uh, water filters there for your spot free water for when you're washing the yeah, coach. Yeah, the, the DI system, then you've got the, the valves back there on the pressure washer so you can choose DI versus uh, regular water. Yes, sir. And then the two bays up front here, this is just gonna be the other side of what we're looking at of the, the, the storage bays here, both pass-through bays. You can see Newell Coach 1729. Uh, there's that power washer wand uh, that you can plug into that hose. So you've got your onboard power washer system. And this is an industrial style setup. This is not a, um, this is not a Home Depot uh, power washer no, system. No. <laughs> this is, you know, when I was in the business of power washing, uh, you'd have to go to a specialty store to get an industrial grade wand like this. This is, this is as industrial as it gets. I'll tell you, and I, I may have mentioned this before, um, there's so many applications, uh, not just washing your coach, but uh, washing the, the patio furniture, washing the patio, washing your, your lot off, uh, washing your car. Uh, big thing, I wish I'd have had one here in a recent trip, um, washing the bugs off the windshield uh, because uh, this time of year, uh, it doesn't take much to, to clutter it up. Yeah, there's all kinds of uses. Sometimes even, a lot of people don't think about it, but one of my favorite uses of power washing is keep your shoes clean. Just power wash your shoes off, let them dry out, Probably one of the best ways to clean your shoes if you I, haven't I, thought of it. So I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh... Well, when you work around them every day for about twelve years, you think of all kinds of stuff. So. You probably don't want to do that on your sandals. So no, sir, no, <laughs> sir. Well, if you take them off your feet, yeah, it actually yeah, does I, work. I, yes, I guess sir. You could. I guess yes, you could. sir. Um, this is the care package we include with uh, with every new coach. 
uh, in the parts list, the material uh, list, so that if they do use any of them. But you've got filters and uh, um, belts, you know, so, so belts, uh, hoses. Uh, yeah, clamps, all you know, kinds clamps. of just stuff that you're going to need to maintain your coach. That's all part of you know RV ownership is right, right. maintaining the coach. Yeah, and as we're going around the front here. I'm really excited about this front end and just how the paint scheme comes up. We're gonna show you that paint in a second, but I just I just had to show everybody a quick look at this. I'm, I'm really excited about uh, how you guys have stepped up your paint schemes. Yeah, the, this is one of the enhancements for the 22 model. Um, if, you, if you look at uh, some of our 21 models, you'll see a, a little different front end, but uh, I think we did a, a really good job of bringing in this, uh, this lower area and, and creating the badge uh, that has the newel. The newel is actually backlit, so at night uh, you can you can light up your coach and uh, promote newel. Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so going back into this uh, this bay up front here, you've got the dual uh, air compressors there. What all is going on up here, sir? Uh, well, you've got uh, some of the uh, the fuses for the cockpit area uh, are up here, so they're easy to access. Um, I'll I'll go ahead and quickly show you what you've got there easy to identify uh, what the, the fuses are we've got the, the legend here so that uh, you can understand what uh, what fuses go where yeah and then we've got the, the two air compressors instead of one um, you know if you have one and it goes bad uh, most coaches these days uh, whether it's uh, ours or the bus conversions or class A's uh, you're going to have a lot of pneumatic systems on board. It's good to have an auxiliary air compressor, but if it ever were to have a problem, uh, you're stuck. Uh, so if you have two, you got backup. You got a backup, and, and we recommend that you, you know, every six months or so, just put the toggle switch so that uh, you can exercise both of them. Yeah, and one thing I want to point out before you close that bay door, all these Newell Coach paint schemes I was talking about, you know, the white pinstripes and the drop shadows, but they even bring this pinstripe up over the door here, up top here, just so that it gives it that fully finished look, even when it's closed, and so that pinstripe just lines up. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail on those, those paint schemes. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, parts and pieces that we have to work around uh, as well. Uh, you know, including the, the light buckets. Uh, these, these guys have uh, really enjoyed uh, working with, with Ryan, of course, but uh, it, uh, they've been challenged uh, through the years and have really uh, done a great job of uh, incorporating some of those special effects. There's a lot of hours involved uh, for it, but uh, that's how, what... How many hours goes into your paint design process? Uh, about 750 hours. Now, I've heard of our, our competitors spending 1500 hours and I don't see how that's possible. Uh, I do understand that uh, because of the fact that uh, they're receiving a shell that already has all the, the exterior lights and uh, chrome pieces and mirrors, everything's installed. So that, they're gonna have to spend a lot of labor taking stuff off and putting it back on. Whereas with us, uh, when our coach goes to the paint shop, it doesn't have any of those exterior pieces that have to be removed, doors. Um, we're just, uh, we're a little more efficient. I'm just blown away what our guys can do in 750 hours versus our competitors who are putting uh, upwards of 1,500 hours into a paint design. Um, it's, it's clear that we can offer all those special effects and the, the quality level that uh, is expected by our clientele. Looking up front here, just all the detail work, I've got to give everybody a close up here. You've got the drop shadows with the white pinstripes and just a it's kind of a mean looking front end. I mean, it's just just a beautiful piece of artwork. So, right, right. And they've got a, uh, if you're, you're in a state that requires a license plate, uh, this can be removed for the license plate. Most people don't, uh, are not concerned about that, but, uh, but it's there if you need it. And uh, the generator bay, located here. As we've seen before, you have the 20KW diesel generator. It's a Martin generator on uh, airbags. Uh, it's got uh, uh, the Yanmar engine uh, that uh, Martin uses. Yes, sir. 
fire fire suppression system on board? Yes, sir. Wow, Phil, this is just absolutely stunning. What's the story with the interior of this coach? Uh, well, this is a, a bunk bed model, as we uh, said earlier, so it's it's gonna be uh, a little special uh, as far as the floor plan goes. Um, with the two two full baths with two showers. Yeah, two, two full baths and uh, two full showers. Uh, because of uh, the way we, we build from the ground up and are, are able to get a lot more floor space than say uh, some of your class A's and your bus conversions, we've got enough room to do that kind of thing and still give you a lot of storage. Uh, you're not going to have to sacrifice, uh, you know, a lot of closet space uh, for, uh, for the bunks and the bathroom. This coach was designed uh, by Amber. You've uh, had, a, had a few videos with her, uh, but the, uh, she just does a fantastic job with every coach she does. It's uh, amazing what she can come up with and uh, every coach is different. Uh, and the people that bought this one love the interior. Um, they, uh, we sent them the, the fabric samples and the materials uh, and they were great with it. This enabled them to get a, a show coach and not have to wait that 18 months uh, for a coach. Um, again, the, uh, the people that buy the show coaches are uh, in agreement that we'll get to use the coach to show um, and that they'll uh, accept what we're building uh, both inside and outside. Yeah, no, I, I love this. It's almost like a modern farmhouse type of a style. Um, and I did uh, get a chance to do a video with the design team talking about the design process. Now, this is a show coach, so a little different than that design process. But I will leave a link in the description below uh, to the video I did with Amber and the design team explaining the entire design process. Now, I've got to get the folks on YouTube a, a quick look at the carpet here. And then this flooring, it's almost like a rustic wood type of a floor. Uh, just they, you, you, they just come up with so many different designs. It's really incredible. Oh, it's, it's uh, it, like I said, it's amazing uh, that she can come up with something different every time that just uh, kind of a knocking it out of the park, so to speak. True story. Now, uh, this floor plan, you've got the opposing sofas. Um, are these, do these turn in, into beds as uh, well? or uh, One of them has storage below. Okay. You've got uh, drawer storage, and then it is a uh, jackknife bed. Oh yeah, look at that. So it'll, it'll come down and make a bed. The opposing sofa is actually a sleeper sofa, so it'll have a, a bed that actually comes out with an air mattress. Uh, so you've got plenty of sleeping here. You know, if you've got kids, uh, that, that's that's why people get the bunks. They usually want to bring somebody along, so you need some more sleeping uh, as well. Um, Real quick, too, while we're talking about the couches, I want to get everybody a close-up of these fabrics and these materials. The 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 camera doesn't do uh, you know doesn't focus as well as the human eye does, but a very high-end material and and the two-tone with the leather. Um, and then, and then this, these two materials just break it up and give it a really cool look. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, a lot of times we'll put, uh, leather on the arms and on the base and, uh, give a contrasting fabric. Uh, we'll do all leather. It, it's, uh, up to the customer what they want, uh, if they custom build one. The other thing we did, uh, we've got two or three, uh, about three different Ottoman choices. Um, in this particular one, you are going to have generally more people. Mm -hmm. uh, in a bunk bed model so we've kind of split it up you've got you can have the ottoman this way and have a place for laptop or food uh, with uh, drink holders here or you can take the table off and separate them oh yeah look at and, that uh, have one over here and one over there and then we also have storage inside the inside yeah the, each ottoman and I love how Newell just finishes every square inch. You can see that piano hinge. This is all lined with carpet. And then it even has a couple of uh, straps here uh, just to make it a little bit easier if you need to move it around. Uh, and, and then, uh, as Phil mentioned, the cup holders with the Newell logo on the inside of it. And 
Gotta get everybody a close up of this leather as well. Real high end materials everywhere in this coach. And then just the engineering and, and functionality is just incredible. Also on the dinette, um, as I mentioned, if we're traveling with a family, you're gonna have more people. So we have the ability to extend the, the dinette. Oh yeah. And then um, I don't have them here. They're, they're underneath the bed right now, but then you have uh, the cushions for the, the seat and the back. So you've uh, now got your, you can seat six kids if you, if you wanted. And then we have a, a pedestal and a leaf for the dinette table. So we'll be pulling the table out and put a uh, pedestal in there. I'm noticing a couple things in the galley area here. I really like the the placement of this wine glass cabinet, really utilizing that space. And then just a beautiful laminate finish that they uh, picked with a Brew Express coffee maker. What else is going on in the galley well, here? Well, we've got, uh, of course, you got the dishwasher. And then you've got, uh, you've got all the, the drawer space here. Uh, you mentioned the, the coffee maker, a uh, place to put wine glasses and uh, other glasses if you, you need it. You got storage above the, above the sink with an adjustable shelf. Yes, sir. And then uh, your pantry, you have two pantries over here as well. Okay. Now, some people that are traveling are not always gonna be a tra traveling with uh, their family. So these bunks, and we'll get to them in a minute, it can also serve as additional pantry area, you know, for uh, dry goods, um, flats of water, um, you know, whatever whatever other uh, staples you want to bring as well. Okay. Uh, one thing I, I didn't point out, we'll go ahead and do that, is the uh, projection, uh, projector. Yes, so sir. So you've, you've got the TV up front, but now uh, we've also got the uh, projection screen over yeah. here. I don't have anything in there to show right now because we're inside. Now, do you know if this coach, we've talked about in previous videos on the Tampa Show Coach, was the first one you did where you could have the X, the projector go on the exterior of the coach. Does this coach have that option? Uh, this is the, the screen that we would use for the projector. Oh, yeah. And uh, we also we also give the option, uh, and you, as you've mentioned, uh, we've also got the option of reversing the image on the projector and being able to project it out through the window at night yeah so it becomes a big screen out there in addition to the tv that you have down below if you want yeah very very cool feature if you want to be uh known at the campground it's uh oh that's right <laughs> yes yeah. sir yeah. you have a movie super, night super bowl sunday on the campground people are going to be all, all around your coach true story yes sir <laughs> yes sir so, so going through this coach uh, what else is going on um of course you have the uh the GE monogram, we've uh, talked about how heavy duty those are. Yes, lots sir. Of, lots of space. Yeah, those hinges are just very industrial. Uh, and then you've got the ice tray as well as the freezer. I really like that option. Right. Just to sep keep your ice separated. Uh, and then a very large pull-out freezer drawer. And I really like this laminate, too. It's almost a, a matte finish, or it is a matte it finish. Is. It is a matte finish. Uh, you know, typically with uh, kids, uh, you might get fingerprints. So if you have a polished laminate, they're going to show up more. And uh, we typically on the on the bunk coaches, we're we're trying to make them kid friendly yet elegant. Yeah, well. and and with that new N1 system, deleting all of those big switches really steps up the appearance as well. I right. love the new the new N1 system. So you you can see over here, you just have one panel versus several panels throughout the the coach. And uh, we'll get a shot of, uh, of what we were doing before, which uh, is a good system. It's still the spider system, but this is uh, really streamlined things for us. Yes, sir. So going back into the bunk area here, yeah. I know a lot of people are excited to see what you guys are doing with the bunks. Yeah, the bunks are just, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great, great floor plan. We, we have sold more bunk bed floor plans than I would have ever thought uh, over the past uh, three or four years, especially with this new design with the, the additional shower. Yeah, and, this uh, is, uh, this is, I gotta give them a quick sneak peek here of the bathroom here. The, the design work that Newell does in their bathrooms, it's just absolutely stunning. And the, you know, everything from these tile floors uh, to that, that's tile work on the walls and all of the different finishes. And I'm gonna 
can ever want a sneak peek of the shower as well. Uh, you've got the seamless drain down there and the craftsmen here at Newell are second to none in all departments. The tile department, the woodwork, you know, just all around, just, just amazing yeah, uh, they, artwork. A lot of detail. Yes, sir. Yeah, now with the, uh, with the bunks, um, you've, got, you've got the ability to turn it into a closet. Yes, sir. Uh, what you can do. Yeah, you can see there's a wardrobe bar up there already. Right. You know, show you. It's real easy. This is another area that you want to keep simple. Um, when you're using uh, elect electrical uh, motors and everything to try to convert it to a closet, you're going to run the risk of it not working. Here, it's just real simple. Just fold that up. Well, you need to take the bedding off. Yeah. But, uh, now the the cool thing about this too is now your your bunk gets a lot taller. So um, say you only have one person using this bunk space, now they have a lot more headroom. So it almost feels like a, a little bedroom for them there. Right. Yeah. That's uh, it, in addition to being a closet. Uh, if you did want if have somebody that wanted more space, uh, they could they could do that. Approximately seventy two inches long, so it's gonna house just about anybody. And I've heard that these Newell bunks are extremely comfortable. And of course, you guys do all of the custom bedding, even in the bunks, like you do in every bed in the Newell coach. Exactly. Everything is uh, custom made. The sheets are custom made. All the, be all the bed spreads and shams and everything are uh, custom made here. Now, when it becomes a closet, you can close the door. Yes, sir. Of course, if the, if the kids are, are rowdy, we can put a lock on there. <laughs> but uh, yeah. no, if, it's, uh, if, it, if you've got it as a closet, you can close that door, finish it off. Um, and then you've got storage, more storage down below for all the kids' things or additional pantry items. Oh yeah, look at that. Very deep drawers as well. And then I always like to point out these mechanisms that Newell Coach use. I, I mean, I see Newell Coaches that are 10, 20 years old that were using these mechanisms and they right. still hold up very well, very industrial build. And even when you open and close these doors, you can really feel that quality and then there's that little pin in there that we've talked about before and that just locks it into place so you don't have yeah. to worry about those coming it's, out. It's magnetic, it pops up, locks it into place until you push the button and then uh, it releases it. When that bunk locks into place, that's the little uh, little slit that it locks into there. Yes, yeah, that's, uh, that. it'll lock in and then, uh, then like I said, you've got the, the closet space at that point. Also with the bunks, each bunk has a, its own TV Yes, sir. Uh, so that uh, kids can watch TV or adults that are that are using it. Um, stereo uh, headphone, uh, wireless headphones uh, to go with it. Uh, in addition, you've got back over here. You can see the air conditioning vent. Yes, sir. Uh, that uh, is going to cool. I, I cool think the I noticed area. that on both uh, bunks as well. Yeah. So you do have an air conditioning system in both bunks. Right. Right. Now, are those um, individually climate controlled or are those going to fall into this zone of the climate that, control? They're, they're going to fall into this zone. Okay. Uh, they'll, they'll both be the, the same. Sorry, I put that on wrong there. That's okay. No, that's... <laughs> yeah, now going into the bedroom here, now uh, is this a queen size bed? I know usually when you've got the, the bunk models, you're going to have to sacrifice some space somewhere. What size bed is this? This is still the Junior King. Okay. Uh, where we sacrifice a little bit of space is some of the closet area but uh, what we've done with this floor plan to get some of that space back you can see how wide uh, the closets are on this side oh yeah um, previously we we would have to put a closet over here with uh, with an alcove now we're able to get the deeper nightstands have a short hang closet or shelving whichever one you want yes sir in this area and then we added these closets uh, on the side so you can have long hang or two short hang if you wanted. And I want to point out too, there's outlets here and then, you know, two, you know, you've got two different uh, wardrobe bars there as well. So you could double hang in this closet as well. Right, right. And, and this uh, and this one, we went ahead and put it, we don't always do it because it's, uh, it can be pretty loud if, uh, if you want to make it loud. Uh, but we've got the surround sound in this uh, oh, particular yeah. bunk bed model. Yeah, I'm, so I'm you, noticing three of the gallo speakers up there right and then another two above head i bet you it gets rocking oh, yeah. back here yeah yeah you've got uh, and the subwoofer oh yeah uh, underneath so oh yeah you've got a yeah those gallo speakers are incredible uh incredible sound 
Uh, I'm noticing with the fixed TV as well, you've got six drawers, it looks like. Yeah, as, I, as I've mentioned before, um, we've, we've seen kind of a trend toward this rather than having the televator. Uh, the televator, obviously, is going to take up space for the TV. And we find that uh, most of our clients are not spending a whole lot of time in the bedroom enjoying the view. And so as long as they can get some natural light uh, to come in on this side, they're fine. We move uh, the TV up, make it stationary, and creates uh, drawer space for us. Uh, down below so that's another way we're getting back some of this storage uh, that uh, that you would lose uh, maybe with the bunk bed model yeah i want to get everybody a close-up of this countertop i missed it in the in the kitchen but i really like this is this a stone or what type of stone is this uh, I, believe the, I believe this is also a quartz a quartz okay yeah, yeah it's it's getting hard to tell the difference uh uh, all these materials i'll tell you they, they've really come a long way the quartz products uh, used to, they, you had a couple of choices, but now we're seeing uh, a lot more variety. Yes, uh, you, you've still got, uh, when you start looking at all the little drawer space, you know, I, it's real easy whenever you just look at pictures uh, at a coach uh, to, to miss uh, how much storage you might be losing in certain products. Yes, sir. Uh, here, if we, start, if we open up all the drawers and you start counting the drawers and the closets, and start measuring the actual space, you're gonna find the Newell uh, well exceeds what you're gonna find in say the, the bus conversions. True story. Uh, overhead storage here in this one, uh, we're putting the AV equipment. Yes, sir. Uh, over in, in this side and over this side, you have your Marantz receiver. Okay. Uh, as well. Uh, you have the Intrepid uh, panel on this side as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so you've got that there and in the galley and on your uh, iPad control. So uh, either side is gonna have the the controls to the, the rest of the coach. Yeah, and you could take that iPad off and walk around with it. Right. Uh, it's got that eye port there, uh, but then this Intrepid uh, panel is in fixed place there. Yes, so. yeah, just, just like the one in the front. Uh, now, uh, also, uh, it's worth noting that um, with the Intrepid uh, panel, you can download an app that will allow you to have that same uh, control remotely. Or if you're just outside and you've got your iPhone and you want to take care of something inside, you can do it. Oh, very cool. Very uh, and, cool. It, and it's connected two ways. We have our own uh, coach network. And if you're you're within like 75 feet, you can operate it uh, directly uh, using using the coach network. But if you're at a remote location, uh, it'll, uh, it'll connect via cell service. Oh, very cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, more, more storage uh, over here. Yes, sir and more drawer storage on this side of the uh, the bed. Very deep as, drawers as well. Yeah, as well as the other side. So for a bunk bed model where you're, you've got these large bunks and a, and a second bathroom, you're still getting quite a bit of storage uh, in the in the bedroom. Absolutely, and and I've got a, I, I'm just noticing while we're talking here, the camera's not picking up the ceiling treatment, but just the design work, and even you know the, the, the human eye just captures so much more of these textures and uh, the combination of the different lighting uh, and and how it all comes together. And then, oh I, yeah, I like how you did that kind of setting more of like a mood lighting. You right. can see back here, you've got the underlit lighting. Uh, and then, you know, I, I always like to point out, you know, the accessibility, because this has what, four roof air conditioners? Four, four roof air conditioners. And uh, in the last couple of years, we've redesigned it to get even more uh, use out of the, the air conditioners. I, um, may have talked about this before, but one of the biggest uh, challenges in the RV industry is getting the full capacity of the air conditioners. Uh, some, some companies are operating at like 30, 40% capacity. Well, we've, we've changed some of the ways that we have, we are exhausting the air to give us a lot more of that capacity uh, in the, the front end in particular. We're really cooling down the, the cockpit area now and making good use of uh, what's available from these roof airs. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to point, you know, point out how accessible these panels are. Um, I don't want to just yeah, start pulling me, on stuff. No, but no, you there you go. It. Yeah, so you can manually, there's a switch right here. You can manually turn this air conditioning on and off if for some reason, you know, something's not functioning. Right, right. yeah, that's, we want to always have the ability to run those air conditioners if uh, for some reason the switching uh, within the Intrepid system is not, operating we, we typically don't have any problems but every once in a while 
if there's a, a programming issue or something we have to deal with, then uh, they can operate it manually. Yeah, and I love how you guys hide the smoke detectors, but then make it just so easy to get to. I mean, as you saw, right. you just, in one second, you pop that panel down, you got access to your roof AC unit and that smoke detector. Yeah, it's easy, easy to change the filters uh, and clean them. Yeah, just yeah. every little detail gets thought out and you uh, and, and the team at Newell Coach just continues to improve with every coach. Right, and uh, you can't see it here, but uh, we we leave the insulation in the or we we spray the insulation in the the roof. Um, I know that uh, when I was working for one of the conversion companies, because they're so challenged as far as the height, uh, they would remove the insulation in order to get more airflow for the air conditioner. Uh, well, that kind of defeats the purpose because you're you're heating up the the coach more because you don't have the insulation in there. Um, so. We, we don't do that, it's it's fully insulated, all the insulation is blown in, and then we have the air conditioners that uh, we're able to duct uh, because of the extra height we have. This rear bathroom here is catching my eye here as we're chatting here. It just glows back here, and the design work that they do just never ceases to amaze me. What's the uh, story with this rear bathroom? This floor plan offers some more privacy for mom and dad uh, in the back because it has a full bathroom for the uh, the kids. Yeah. Or the guests, uh, yes, depending sir. on how you're using it. So you've got a shower and uh, a toilet and sink in the mid bath, which is gonna make this one a little bit smaller, but it's still plenty plenty big for uh, for the, the parents. Yeah, let me, I, I'm six too. Phil, you wanna be my cameraman sure. here? And uh, let me show off. I mean, look at how much, with a hat on, I'm six two, you know, just, Plenty of room here, and uh, the finishes are just, just incredible here. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the shower, I, well, I've got to point out the tile work on the floor here, just incredible. And then that same tile work continues onto the floor in the shower here. And again, that seamless drain, like we've talked about in other coaches, and then a different type of tile to give it a contrast. Uh, and then another surface here, so you've got three different finishes that all tie together very well and a good size shower here i'm going to step in here just to show everybody i'm six two plenty of room here you want to yeah yeah give let me show size. you if you back up here a little bit you got you, you guys can see uh you know plenty of room and then i like little stuff like this like this is so important you know just to just to squeegee so your shower always stays really clean you got to have one of these new coaches thinking of everything here um and then of course uh, as we've talked about in other videos, they don't place the shower head until you know the owner chooses exactly because different people are different heights or may want it in different locations right. that give them options. Yeah, anytime it's a custom built coach, or in this case a show coach that a customer's buying, we, we, we hold off. Uh, you can also see the drain instead of a, uh, a square drain in the middle, uh, we've sloped it down toward the front and you have the drain uh, up here at the front of the shower as well. Yeah, we've got a, uh, a towel warmer also. Oh yeah, here. heated towel bar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, storage up above. So you're still you're still picking up all those little uh, little places uh, of storage. And on this one, because we're we're going all the way across, we've got three drawers mm -hmm. uh, for oh, very more deep. storage. And closets on both sides. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we've got, got these hinges that allow us to push push this in on, on each side. Yeah, I like how it's separated and split. Sometimes it's just one big bar across the back, but this makes it real nice for a his and hers and just everything kind of, everyone's got their own little space. Right, right. Usually it's uh, hers, hers, and his. <laughs> exactly, true story, <laughs> yes sir. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, we've got the uh, uh, breaker box over here as well. And this, uh, this is the uh, leaf I was telling you about um, for the dinette table. Yes, sir. As well as the pedestal that would go underneath. And we offer some safety. Uh, you've got the, a glass breaker uh, here as well. Uh-huh. Uh, that would, uh, if you had an emergency and needed to uh, get out. But we've also got the, the emergency hatch. Yes, sir. Up here as well. And these will. 
Yeah, I think the big reason for this is if for some reason the coach was to tip over and you weren't able to get out of the door, you've got a escape hatch exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. Out of the door or windows and you can, you can get out. Uh, don't don't hear of that happening, but uh, it's always good to be prepared. Just in case, yes, sir. And uh, you can cut out all of the light in here. Uh huh. Or have a screen if you want to uh, increase the ventilation and, and open the hatch. Uh, you can pull the screen, keep all the bugs out. Yeah, three different options there. I like that. And then behind this beautiful matte laminate, I'm assuming uh, the washer and dryer? Washer and dryer as well. Yeah, Whirlpool with the uh, you know top loading uh, down here makes it just really easy to use from what I've heard. Yep, yep, that's, uh, keep it simple. Yes, sir. Bill, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to see this beautiful Newell bunk model with two full baths. If someone is thinking about purchasing or ordering a new Newell coach uh, or maybe purchasing a pre-owned product, who should they get a hold of? Yeah, just uh, contact me through email at uh, philc at newellcoach.com or you can call or text at 541-953-3113. Our order bank is filling up, so uh, I'd give me a call as soon as possible and we'll get you in as early as possible. Phil, I can't thank you and the team at Newell Coach enough for this opportunity. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.